Today we're going to make a wicked cool custom keychain using Tinkercad, so let's get cracking. This process starts at my website, hlmodtech.com. Of course, I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad. Tons of amazing categories that you can check out. Below that, the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. Today's Tinkercad essentials are the SVG fonts. Click on this file, download it to your downloads, and unzip it. I have already done that, that's why it's got the one after it, and I'm going to simply hit cancel. Once you have right clicked and extracted it, you'll have a folder with these fonts that you can then use in Tinkercad for personal use. If you've never visited Tinkercad before, it's simply Tinkercad.com. I always recommend sign in with Google. This is the home page, and we're simply going to go over here and choose Create 3D Design. Tinkercad has fun fonts that you can simply bring out and work with. You can also search text and find some more. And I've got a full tutorial that you'll find right up here that has many cool tricks. Today, I'm going to simply show you how to type custom or C-U-S-T in the search box and find custom font text. We're going to bring it out. And as you can see at the moment, it's plain. But check it out. We're going to simply add our own awesome text by finding the Tink Fonts folder and our new fonts. Now you can try all of these out. I'm going to simply use the top one. As you can see, this turns red. That means Tinkercad is calculating. And bingo, I've got a fun font for making a keychain. I will show you a second one quick. We simply bring the box out again. Simply hit choose here again. This time let's choose Rainier. And you could repeat that process to have all the fonts on your screen. Now that I've chosen the font I want to work with, I'm going to type my text. I'm going to put Detroit to give my sports teams a quick shout out. And then when I make a keychain, I like to make them about 7 centimeters or 70 millimeters across. And then for this distance, I like to keep it somewhere close to 25 or 30. Notice to get the eyes so it looks more like a circle. I've got to come down to 29. I'm actually going to be fine with that. I'm going to change the thickness to 2 millimeters and press enter. Now I want a cool outer base around this. Of course, we could easily add a rectangle, but I want a fancier one. Check this trick out. We're going to export it as an SVG. We only wanted the selected shape. I'm going to save it in my downloads folder. I'm going to just put DET for Detroit logo. And then we want to quickly import this. Choose a file. And bingo, there is my SVG. I only want the art. It already has the correct me measurements. Notice when it had the art board, that was using the outside edges. That's why we always switch to art. When we bring this in, it'll land in the middle. And it'll look just like our original one, but it will have superpowers. Bingo, as promised, identical. But are you ready for this? Fill mode, outer line. I'm going to set it to 3 and press enter. And after a moment, it'll all of a sudden be the keychain base. Now notice it gave us a node fails to load. You can just disregard that, try it again. I do want to adjust this and I want to make it round instead of sharp. See all those sharp corners? And then I also want to bump the quality up to max and pick a cooler color. I'm going to go with a deep dark blue, find one that I think is awesome. And then I want this to be the base of the project. So I'm going to choose two millimeters thick. I'm going to take this piece and make it three millimeters thick now. So it sticks up. And then I also want to fill in the back. Now we could do that with solid shapes, but check this out. Go back to our piece with superpowers. Do control D. Change this one to the silhouette. And after a moment, bam, it is filled in. Let's go with Tiger's colors. We'll make this an orange. Just like that, you have got a cool multicolor keychain using a combination of the custom font text and the SVG import skills. How cool is that? Now, I do want to add a keychain hole. I could cut one over here. Usually, I create the keychain hole with the tube, but today we're going to use the fun sketch tool. When we bring this out, notice its shadow is 20 by 20. So I'm dropping it right in a 20 by 20 grid spot. That centers this for us. Now I want to create a five millimeter hole for the keychain hole. So see how this is one two millimeters, 
Well, I want to go two and a half millimeters in every direction. So I'm going to set my nudge to a half millimeter. And there is two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, and I am making a diamond. Well, you say, why would a diamond be a circle? Well, check it out. In Sketch, we can turn lines into Bezier curves. When we double click, we're in edit mode. If we double click again, snap, snap, bingo. Perfect cylinder. How cool is that? I'm going to simply move this to where I would want the hole to be. And then we're going to make it a hole. And then we're going to use this same part to make the outside. This time we're going to do control D, make it a solid. Instead of five, we're going to make it seven. We're going to do that with shift scale. Stretch it to crazyville. In the box, type seven and press enter. Bam, you've got a perfect cylinder that you can put in place. Let's take this and change its height to two and press enter. And then also select the hole, make it two and press enter. Select those two and choose L for a line. Pick the larger one and choose center and center and group. I've just decided I want this to be a little sturdier. So let's double click it. So now we're in edit mode. And if we double click on that sketch, we can edit it too. You can see the size seven that's just not quite as strong as I want. Check this out. If we double click, we're in edit mode. And I'm just going to adjust this a half millimeter more in every direction. If we double click again, it goes straight lines. If we double click again, we get our perfect circle. I am going to increase this by another half millimeter. Simply click the point, drag it up. That one won't even show up, but I still will. There's my half. There's my half. Once again, double click to make them back to lines and double click again to get your perfect circle. When you hit finish sketch, it is still in edit mode. When you click over here, it becomes finished. And that is how I want my keychain to look. I'm going to grab those two and do control G to group. Now, friends, you can also use SVG fonts from something like Canva. I'll have a tutorial for that up here. I am going to set this up to print on my Bamboo Labs printer. I'm going to do control D to take the project over here. And I'm going to set this up so it can print face down. Here's the first step. I'm going to hit W for work plane, set it on top, do D for drop. So this is on the top of the project. I'm going to change it to one millimeter thick, and then I'm going to sync it in. Well, to sync it in, I'm going to make two of these, control D, and make the first one a hole. I'm going to switch to my one millimeter nudge, and I'm going to do control down arrow so that sinks in. So this is easier to see. Let's quickly hide it. There is my solid shape and the hole. Do control G to group, and we've just cut out where those other letters are going to land. If we do show all, they come back. Once again, control down arrow, they are sunk in. Now when I do W for work plane, and we rotate this 180 degrees, notice if we stay inside this rotation handle, it is 22 and a half degrees at a time. And when we hit 180, bingo, they are ready for 3D printing. I'm going to quickly name my project. It's this easy. I'm going to put Detroit Keychain. And now when we get ready to export it, it has the correct names. You could grab both of these and export the two shapes as an OBJ. I prefer to export them separately. Otherwise, I have to unzip the OBJs later, which I find a little bit annoying. If you get an error, like I just did, don't worry about it. Just back up and do it again. Export SDL selected shape, only the blue one. And you'll note it takes a moment, shows you down here that it's preparing it. I store mine in a 3D modeling folder, and I'm going to call this Detroit Keychain, and this will be the base, and hit save. Now I can hide that. Notice these are in the exact right location, so when I bring them in, they'll be in the exact right location. And of course, I'm going to call this one Detroit Keychain Words. And save changes. Once again, if you are printing on a single color printer, I like to have them stacked like this. I've got a tutorial that shows how to do that as well using the M600 command. I will put that right here. I'm going to quickly use the note command to match this to single color printer. On this one, I'm going to use the letter N, and I'm going to label this one AMS print. And let's bounce to Bamboo Studio. 
All right, so in Bamboo Studio, I'm going to hit Create New 3D Project. We are going to hit Add, and we need to find those two files. I'm going to select them both at the same time. Click Open. I do want single object, multiple parts. Notice it comes in face down. I need to fix my colors quick. I have got this black one replaced with a generic blue. Simply going to swap to a blue color and do Confirm. Bounce back to prepare, and now in the object mode, and I'm going to swap these colors first. We do need to synchronize from the AMS. I'm going to synchronize now. Tell it okie doke. There's my generic blue. So I can now click on the base and click and switch to blue. And I'm going to click on the words and switch to orange. Instead of the typical Detroit Lions gray, I would be putting in there. Now, if you look underneath, we've got the matching colors, which is fantastic. Let's quickly check the process. 0.2 standard. I like that. Let's hit slice plate. Notice it is only going to take about 30 minutes. Slice was okay. Friends, let's hit print plate. Double check those colors and send it to the 3D printer. After just a moment, it bounces to the device menu. We simply wait for it to download. And once it completes, we can hit play and monitor everything from afar. And of course, about a half hour later, a wicked cool flush print Detroit keychain. How cool is that? So as we wrap up, we learned how to do custom font text, SVG export, SVG import, change those fill modes, and we touched on the sketch tool. So many amazing tools. Of course, if you want to learn more, there will be links in the cards and the descriptions. Of course, I hope you had a ton of fun and take a moment to hit that subscribe button. I do want to say thanks to everybody that's supporting me via channel memberships. There are several levels to choose from, and of course, all that support is appreciated. I also want to say thanks to all of my Patreon supporters. Love how that group is growing. Of course, you can learn more with the bit.ly up above or the link in the description. Finally, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment down below, or click subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day, and keep tinkering.